Would you just look at it? What's up, YouTube? It's another hot ass day here in Miami. Today I'm gonna be working on the old 7.3. It's my truck, it's my daily that I told you guys about in the other video. I haven't told you guys much about her, but she's a 99 Ford F250, 7.3 liter diesel, the 4x4, sitting on an 8 inch lift kit with 20 by 12s, 35 inch tires. This is what we're gonna be doing today. This is my track bar. And it snapped off yesterday. If you just look at it. Yep. So I'm gonna pull that off today. I'm gonna take it to my grandma's house where I have my welder. I'm gonna fix it. Because here in Ragada's garage, you don't just buy a new track bar. Why would you do that? You got a perfectly good welder. I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna reinforce it so it doesn't break again. So I finally got this track bar out. I'm drenched in sweat right now, but it's out. Here's the broken piece. Okay, we're gonna have to weld that back together in there. So I'm gonna throw this in the Mustang right now. I'm gonna drive on over to my grandma's house. We're gonna get that welded. So we got the track bar in the trunk. I'm on my way to my grandma's house. We're stuck in a little bit of traffic right now. There's some construction down this road. But one of the reasons why I'm welding it and not just buying a new one, because I plan to change the whole front axle either way to the 05 and up style. I would really like to do coilovers on a long arm four link setup. I think their truck's gonna ride a lot nicer. And just all the components of the front axle are just way more durable. The hubs are better, the ball joints are better. So everything will last longer. I've already changed my hubs a couple times. Um, my ball joints are already starting to give out. So, might as well just change the whole axle. I don't want to have to keep changing hubs and ball joints every year. But for now, I'm going to weld it, get back on the road so I can change the axle and that'll be another project. I had to stop for some gas because I'm running a little dry. So I got to my grandma's house and I realized I didn't have a grinder. So I'm on my way to Home Depot right now to buy a grinder. It's the closest thing around me. And then I'll get back to my grandma's house. So we're in the power tool section. Looking for a grinder. But I don't see any grinders. Where are the grinders? We got welders, drummels, skill saws. Polishers, sanders, found the grinders. There we are. Makita, they walk. I think I'm gonna go with the Makita. 69 bucks. Not bad. Let's take it. Boom. And a grinding wheel. Back at my grandma's house, there's a track bar. I was gonna use some of the square tubing to reinforce it. I just bought that instead. The grinder. The reason why my welder's on my grandma's house is because of this. That is my buggy. Well, it's mine and my buddy's. I'm gonna be working on that soon because RYC's around the corner in November. There'll be a video on that later on. But for now, let's get to work on this. Let's bring out the welder and let's get it done. I 
nice and welded, both sides. We're gonna reinforce it now, just in case. Guys, always remember to wear protection while you're using a grinder, just doing any kind of work, because a piece of metal just went flying and it hit my helmet right there. That could have hit me in the face if I wasn't wearing that. This thing went flying. God knows how fast. Destroyed the grinding wheel. If I wasn't wearing that helmet, it could have been a lot worse. So always remember that. A quick tip. Use protection. So I just finished welding here. It's not my best welds yet, but it'll do for now. At least it's gonna hold up. Um, I'm clean her up, paint it, throw it back on my truck. Right after I clean this mess. So guys, I'm back at my house from my grandma's house. I'm on this side of my house right now because I'm painting back here. This is like my little painting corner. I got the track bar behind me. I already gave it two coats of paint. I'm gonna give it a third. Then we're gonna slap it on the truck right after I finish this beer. What is it that you're doing? We are changing, oh wait, I'm putting the track bar back on. What happened to the track bar? The track bar broke. Now why did that break? Too much power. <laughs> yeah. So how'd you fix the track bar? Well, it? <sighs> so mosquitoes. There's no mosquitoes. Oh my gosh. Yes, there it is. Great fucking hammer. Alright. That side is in. There she is. Welded, painted, ready to go. Boom. See you guys next time.